Hello everybody and welcome back to Zlonka. This is the premium edition for Farming Simulator 22. So, yeah, I realised just after I sold the grain, I thought, hmm, I should have kept some of that for the chickens because they don't have any. And then I thought, maybe we've got some in storage. But no, we have nothing. <laughs> so, that's really annoying. I should have given them some of the wheat which we've just sold. But, yeah, that's just the way it goes, I suppose. I'm going to probably give them some wheat. It's not cheap, that's the problem, but then it will allow me to demonstrate the new pallet fork nicely. So maybe it's still a good idea to do that. We're just going to get them one pallet, because we'll grow our own in the future. Actually, we might even be able to do a contract and then have some surplus left over. Uh, so anyway, let me just find a suitable tractor. That one's busy. Yeah, we're doing the ridging. Uh, that one has just finished, so we'll use this one. And actually, we might potentially replace this vegetable cedar or planter it depends how much the other one is okay it's 51,500 but of course we do have a resale value not much but it is double the width so that's quite a nice upgrade uh, we'll certainly be considering that momentarily but yeah let's just feed these chickens so they're actually producing some eggs Actually, because we do have a front three-point linkage on this tractor, we could even put that pallet fork on the front. There we go. Nice. And we can also adjust the angle. You can adjust the top link length. Um, I'm guessing it has a hydraulic. Oh no, this one just has a mechanical one, a manual one. But yeah, in the game you can use it as if it was hydraulic. Which of course makes it very good for picking up pallets. So you can essentially use it like a front loader, just without the reach. There we go. Right. So, one step at a time, we'll just feed the chickens first, and then we'll properly consider if it's worth upgrading the vegetable planter. Maybe it isn't, because maybe it's worth putting the money into new fields first of all. Right, where is the trough for this? I haven't actually properly looked into this, because it's a new building. Um, well, it just did something. There we go. That's where it needs to be. Will they take the whole bag? No, they won't. So we do have some left over, almost 25% left over for next time. Very good. So yeah, they're fairly cheap to run. It's not really a major concern that I sold the wheat. Uh, I've got that stuck. <laughs> Off you get. There we go. And we'll just push that further in again. Keep it there. Right, so shall we upgrade this vegetable planter? I think probably at this stage we won't. Uh, the main reason why is because we'd have to find some more money anyway. And also I really would like to get another field. And on top of all of that, it would be good to... Uh, save up because we need to obviously harvest this crop as well and if we are going to use the big self propeller one which we probably won't first time around maybe we will uh that's going to be like thirty thousand pounds anyway this is not going to be a carrot field it is indeed going to be a beet field a red beet field so let's set that off on a worker you know it's working because it is basically putting down an application of fertilizer and the only reason why it's doing that is because we have ridged it. If you don't ridge it, you don't get the application of fertilizer. And I'm going to have to come back over here at some point and finish this. So, uh, yeah, let's see how uh, everything else stands. I think this field over here is doing very well. Uh, once that one is finished, we'll move on to the next day. But today might be the first opportunity uh, that we've got to harvest somebody else's field. Let's just see. Okay, no... Carrots, parsnips, or red beet contracts for harvesting. Uh, so I guess instead we're going to have to just do another one. Canola in field 59. Let's just do it. It can't take that long. It's a huge machine. I don't want to spend too much time on contracts. It's just, yeah, as our workers are busy working, it makes sense to use that time to just bring in a little bit of extra money and we'll of course get a bonus we'll get a bonus from some of the extra crop because it doesn't make us sell all of it 
which is nice. Okay then, all right, stick this onto the trailer. And I will see you with the tractor and the combine at the field in question, which is south of here. And the cell point is over to the east. Well, here we are in the more open fields. The combine is getting on fine. There's not really much for it to hit. Uh, so we can actually just leave it for the workers to do this. Very easy money. Uh, we will have to do the carting. How full is it? 22%, so not very full at all. That tractor is fine. I need to take over from this tractor in a second to do over the other side. Uh, this is uh, about 160 horsepower, 150 horsepower, something like that. But it seems to pull the, uh, the ridger absolutely no problem at all. So whilst we wait, let's see if we have any other fields that we can potentially buy in the near future. 54 is the obvious one to go for next. And actually, does it have a growing crop of red beet in it? Yes, it does. In fact, it's almost ready to harvest. Whoa, we can actually afford it. So if we buy that, then in the next step, well, in the next day, actually, it'll be the same episode, probably today. Uh, we're going to be able to start the harvest there next to us. And then these two can be growing happily. This is good. So is that fully fertilized as well? No, but it's not too late. If we could get a fertilizer spreader, we could probably put another application on it. I'm gonna buy it. I was not expecting the land to be so cheap. That's really cheap. So this has actually turned out quite well. I've uh, got two red beet fields next to each other, and we've got carrots over there. No parsnip fields nearby, though, I don't think. There seem to be... Uh, there's only a couple. I think there's one over here somewhere. Maybe number seven? Was it number seven? See if I have good memory or not. Oh, it was. Wow. <laughs> yeah, if you zoom out and then just keep spamming the parsnip button, you'll see them flashing. Looks like there's only about four. Um, but anyway, enough of that. We will keep an eye on the worker. I'm going to go and finish off over there, and then, yeah, we certainly should consider trying to fertilise that a final time. And I guess, yeah, we can't really justify renting the big harvester today, but maybe for these other two, because they're going to be ready probably on the same day. Yeah, I just realised there should be actually up against there. It's going to leave a very annoying strip. Or is it? Eh, maybe it won't actually because it doesn't seem to want to go to there. There we go. And there we go. Okay, so that is finished and we do have... I don't know why I completely ignored this before. I guess it's because it's not very big. But we do have a very small storage shed. It's probably better just for seed and fertilizer. But we could, potentially, if the roof is tall enough, put something like the planter or the uh, ridger in there. We'll see. But it does look like a sort of, well, maybe good for conventional bells as well, but certainly for bags. It's going to be so close. Uh, we're definitely hitting the roof. Well, we'll put it there. I'll try not to forget that it's there. Nah, I won't do, because I know that we need the planter to really do this properly. So, yeah, let's check up on the worker again. Let's see how it's doing. Looks like it's doing fine. Almost 80, well, it's 80% full now. Uh, so we'll prepare to unload at the top. So we'll unload coming back down again. It should reach that far. Maybe it's just going to almost reach that far, which wouldn't surprise me. 
Hooray, it's made it. I like these tracks. Nice tracks. So, yeah, in this series we are going to be doing all of the new productions. So it's like the soup production. And the uh, tinned vegetables and all that sort of stuff. Just quickly show you again. So soup, preserved food. And there is also the potato processing plant. So that'll be interesting. We'll have to get some potatoes at some point, but that'll be further down the line. Yeah, so I think probably the... Um, it is the most expensive, but the soup factory is the one I would like to go for first. But then we'd still need to get potatoes. So I guess hmm, preserved food would be the obvious one. Yeah, it will be. But we'll do them all in the end. Anyway, that is 28% full. I reckon I should just take over from that worker. Make sure everything else is going fine. That's run out, okay. Now, it seems to be using a lot of seed. Yeah. Um, oh, I guess you'll be telling me next that one of those contracts from earlier was to fertilise 54. <laughs> that would be so difficult, wouldn't it? Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. There are so many ways that you can, you know, take advantage of what's on offer. You've just got to time it right. You've got to be alert. But we do need a fertilizer spreader anyway, so it doesn't really bother me that we need to buy a fertilizer spreader. And they're not too expensive. We could lease it. But, again, leasing is not the best because you don't have a resale value. So, yeah, we'll look at uh, fertilizing that very soon, but let me just continue with this harvest. It'd be good to get rid of one of the workers. And I'll see you when this field is done. Okay, so we are getting very close to completion. We just have this strip here, which I missed, foolishly. Uh, and then, yeah, there should be a fairly significant bonus, I hope. Soon find out. We'll get it over to the cell point, and we'll see how this affects our future. I know it's not a massive job, but yeah, even if it was like £4,000 on top of the contract value, then it's worth it. Well, it's worth it, even if it's like £50. <laughs> Any kind of bonus is worth it. So, yeah, we will uh, leave that there. We'll get into the tractor, and we're heading to that place with the huge exclamation mark. But it's nice to see another section of the map. It's quite open out here. Still plenty of trees, but yeah, the fields are much more open. We've got these nice little uh, lakes as well. I bet there's a golden apple around here. In case you're wondering what I'm on about, the golden apples are the collectibles on this map. If anybody does see anything, 
a golden apple. Please do point it out because I can go back and get it in another episode. That is 50 in total, so they can't be that hard to spot. Right, here we are. Got 28,000 litres in total. And this job was worth, I think, 4,000 and something, so I reckon we're going to be doing alright. So as the trailer nears its end of emptying, is that going to hit the roof? Yeah. It's going to go through the roof. Our money should go up a bit. Any second now. Very nice, a £6,627 bonus. And on top of that, we can get our contract value, 4500 So, there we go. £36,000 again, which is going to be spent on, I would say, the fertiliser spreader. Uh, so let's just go into fertiliser spreaders. And this one here, 25000 We'll buy that. Big bags, solid fertiliser. Now, like I said, it might be too late. I'm hoping it isn't. Also, this tractor is not as fast as the Fiat, so I should probably use the Fiat. Or the Fent. Yeah, we'll probably use the Fent, because it's just finished this end of the field. I did have to refill it again. So I guess, so I don't forget, I should finish this side as well. And then that's all of the red beet done. Perfect. Just the right working width. There is a strip there which, as you can see, has been done without ridges. That's fine, it's just it won't have the uh, application of fertilizer. But as we spread these fields in the next day, it will get an application then. Okay, there we go. The red beet is in. So we'll just drop this off in the yard and we'll go and get the spreader. I haven't really used that little truck yet, but it will be used. When we get a telehandler or something, we'll use it for carrying bags of fertiliser. And we'll probably put some bales in it at some point. Ah. We have a weed here. We actually don't have weeds enabled. I wasn't going to do weeds just because it can become quite repetitive. And that's more for a survival series. So I think we'll just get this sold. That'll bring in a bit of money as well. Uh, the trigger for that is possibly under that roller door or maybe it's around the back. There it is. So, yeah, not worth much. £3,500. Pays for some fertiliser, though. Greetings from Zilonka. Can't wait to use that harvester in the, in the picture there. We will be using it, but probably not for the first field. Right, so just one bag at a time, I think. We've only got £13,500 now, so we can't just go spending it all on fertiliser. Because we'll probably have a lot left over. The brilliant thing about this fertiliser spreader is its width. It is so wide. We could probably... Yeah, we can do this field in just two passes. Maybe even one pass. I'm probably actually overlapping the side there a bit too much. We can certainly reduce its working width coming back down. Makes it more worthwhile though when the crop is fully fertilised. Right. 
so that's a reduced working width it's covering it nicely nice and easy yeah I would do the other fields but we have to rest they're gonna to have to move on to the first growth stage before we can apply another application and we will rest in just a second there we go right well we'll pop this back in the yard we'll go to the house and we'll rest until about 8 a.m. We're not going to buy a shed though until we have surplus money. We really can't just be buying sheds. We've got so much other stuff and I want to do the productions. Bit of rain there to wash the fertilizer in or to activate the fertilizer. Right. Okay, so as you can see, a huge transformation. Our fields have germinated. And it looks so neat. Certainly makes it look nicer with the uh, the ridges, I think. Well, I don't know what it would look like without ridges. I did leave a strip here, didn't I? Or did I? Has it converted it? It's converted it. Okay. Well, it does look very neat. So, is that field over there ready to harvest? It is. Before we do, though, I think we'll fertilise 52 and 53, so I don't forget. And then everything is going to be as productive as possible. We likely will need to go and buy some more fertiliser, though. Okay, this is going to be interesting. I have no idea how this is going to go. Um, I've never used anything like this before, actually. That's probably why I'm attaching to the wrong part of it. It might be better off on the fit. But it looks like we're going to have to drive alongside all the time because there's no tank. So for the first time ever, let us try and harvest some red beet. And it is indeed a single row harvester. So this, I can only imagine, is going to be extremely slow. Let me get another tractor. What should we use? We're going to have to use the Fiat. Okay, it wants me to uh, unfold that. Who knows, I probably will end up renting the other one. But we're going to have to somehow find the funds. Well, actually, the one thing I've never looked at is how much these crops are worth. Like, as they are. Okay. Not much, but do you get an awful lot off each field, like sugar beet? I, I should think you do. Now, which trailer should we use? Uh, I don't actually know which is a higher capacity out of the ones we have. I would voluntarily choose the class one, but it's probably not as big. Let's just get to the bottom of this very quickly. Oh no, the class one is way bigger, I think. Unless that's only if you put the side on. Well, it looks bigger. So... I don't know for sure, because I've literally just started doing this, but I would guess that the way to make the money is by making the preservatives and all that sort of stuff. So, as a raw product, it's probably not going to be enough. That's a bit low, I might have to try and raise that. 
but it is working. Right, I'm going to have to set cruise control. Oh, not that fast. Look at that. Beetroot. Red beet. Which I'm guessing is the same thing. What speed is it doing? Well, as you can see, it's harvesting. It's taking them up the side there. Very satisfying to watch. But, very slow. Very, very slow. But yeah, it's clearly very bulky. Because it's, it is literally taking one row and it's already 8% full. It's like a working width of 0.3 meters or something. I just realised that wheel isn't turning. That must be because it's still. Wait, 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 stop. Must be a way of raising that. There we go, I should have done that before. There we go, fixed. So this is going to be interesting. How is it going to come back down? Because it's, it, we're going to be on the wrong side. We're going to be in the crop. I guess that's what we have to do. It's not really an alternative. I guess if we had row crop tyres on, we would be going in between the actual uh, crop itself. But no, I think in the next episode we will indeed get the self propelled one. It's going to be worth it. We'll probably have to take out a loan. And we're not going to just sell these. We're going to have to keep this so that when we get the production we can make a load of money. Or maybe we could take out a huge loan and get the production. Then we can actually start making money straight away. That's probably a better idea. We can sell this harvester. It must have a pretty good retail value. Like, they're not cheap machines. They are. Like in real life, this is this is quite big. It's just in FS. Feels a little slow. But we'll get a full trailer load today. We'll make it worthwhile. Well, we are almost full, um, and yeah, it's taken a long time to get to this stage. So next episode, that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to basically take out a big loan. We're going to build the factory. I'm hoping on the grass field. I'm hoping it's flat enough and big enough. And we'll also get the big harvester. We'll harvest the rest of this field. We'll sell this harvester, and then we can also use it in the future on those two fields as well. I guess as we're going to get the big harvest, we don't need to worry about getting a full trailer because it'd be so much faster than this. Uh, but that, yeah, that's it. That's that's this demonstration done of this machine. It's a nice, neat thing, compact, but we are always looking for something bigger, and that's what we're going to do in episode number three. So I, I think this can probably just stay in the trailer for now because we can hopefully just tip it straight into the production building. Let me just quickly check to make sure we can actually build it over here. 
Of course, we can level the ground. Uh, it's flatter up here. Yeah, I think it would go here somewhere. Yeah, we'll be fine. So, um, we're going to leave it there for episode 2. But episode 3 is coming extremely soon. So stay tuned. I think it's going to be best to go with the preserved food. So we uh, preserved beetroot and preserved carrots that we're going to make. And you can see a much, much better return on these. £2,600, for example. Whereas if that was just standard beetroot... It does actually call it beetroot there, not red beet. Yeah, that would be like 300 350 maybe. So, ah, the chickens have got some eggs here. Fantastic. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.